Science what? What? Science Museum. So thankfully, my Cuban cousins from Hialeah showed up, which is a good thing. Yeah, they're right there. So I'm here to tell you about the Miami Science Museum. How many have been to the museum before? So we've been in the market for over 60 years, enlightening and educating people like yourselves, most of you as children, and doing the same thing for tourists. So we're, we've been an entity for 60 years, and we've started to outgrow our current space. Um, how many of you recognize this? Yeah, the planetarium. How many of you have been to a laser show at the planetarium? Party people in the house. Well, we do more than just laser shows. We have star shows. We do a lot of education, and we launched Jack Horkheimer's Stargazer. How many Jack Horkheimer fans in the house as well? Good. So we also have an award-winning summer camp, 40 years now, where we're actively inspiring kids to really become the scientists of the future. And in the age of the brain drain, that's a huge thing. We're also into conservation with our Falcon Bachelor uh, Bird of Prey Center, and we take two, 1,200 animals that are native to South Florida who are damaged or hurt in some way, and we really take them into our, our lab, we make them feel better, and then we send them back out into the wild, which is a very important thing. But one of the most important things that we do is that we have educational programs like Upward Bound, where we train high school students who are impoverished to become amazing students and to get into great schools like MIT, Harvard, and Yale. So we are the museum for the people, and most people think that we're a museum for kids, but we're not. We're really a museum for everyone. Since we are a beloved entity in the community, with a lot of love in, things become worn. So February 24th, which I'm very proud about, we broke ground on our new museum. And here it comes, the big reveal, the Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science. And a really great thing about the museum is that we, we didn't, like other buildings, we didn't start with architecture and sort of retrofit the programs into the architecture. What we did with this was really think of ideas, think of what the community needs were, think of what our youth needed, and we built something around that, which is, which is quite innovative. So this is the, the top roof skiff of our building. You see our urban garden where we're gonna grow vegetables and fruit that are gonna be served at the museum. You see our iconic planetarium, and you see our Gulfstream tank that I'll tell you a little bit more about in a second. The architecture of the building is really inclusive. We want it to be open and welcoming to everyone. It's important for us to really be the museum of the people and to really try to make the museum a gathering space for the community, for everyone, young professionals as yourselves and beyond. Five stories, 250,000 square feet. That means it's five times the size of the current museum. Now is when you go, ooh, ah, yeah. I need a little bit of that. <laughs> and we're taking, we're taking everything into exhibit areas that we haven't done before. We're talking about food and nutrition. We're talking about disasters and hurricanes and really, really um, exciting things that are for this next generation. Our iconic planetarium and its new look. One of the great things about the planetarium is that it's not only going to be a planetarium, it'll be a 3D multimedia theater, which is really exciting. You can appreciate the stars, but you're also going to be able to take a dive through the human body, a dive into the Everglades and other things like that. This is our roof, actually. The roof is very exciting because it's where, when you get to the museum where you first end up and you appreciate the landscape of government cut, we're gonna be in Bicentennial Park or Museum Park. Um, so you appreciate the roofscape, you see a tank, and by night, since it is Miami, the same tank from another perspective becomes a party space for 600 people, for galas and events and things like that. But the really, really exciting part of this, and here it goes, get ready to ooh and ah again is this Gulfstream tank, 600,000 gallons with sharks, sea turtles, large-scale fish like tuna, and it'll be, it really be the wow moment for the museum overall. So of course it's for the children, and it's to prevent the brain drain and really smart people from leaving the city. It's really about inspiring kids to do more, but for me, it's a very personal thing. I'm very passionate about this place because of these people. My niece, my nephews, who will eventually go through the museum and be inspired, hopefully, to be scientists and make a lot of money. I love Miami, and this is my partner, Diesel, who's standing right here. And we hope to have children in the near future, and you'll all be invited to the wedding. Hopefully, hopefully, if saved aid, where's my saved aid people? If we're, if we're doing the work we need to do, we will be able to get married in this state soon enough. So thank you. This is my museum. I only had five minutes, and I think I'm out of time.
But check out MiamiSide.org for more information or find me. Thank you so much.